February 14th is a day I will never forget. Wednesday morning, woke up, looking forward to the day. It was Valentine's Day. The last 10 minutes of class. The first shots that I've ever heard in my life of a gun. We started sprinting. They started screaming and saying, don't come this way, don't come this way. Turn around, go back upstairs. Someone's shooting. Bullets were just flying everywhere. I was shaking. Our door was shot through. Alyssa, who's my best friend, um, he shoots her. And I, look, and I look to my um, my right side to see one of my friends, Nick Dorette, was dead. And another girl I know, Helena Ramsey, was also dead. I texted both my parents what easily could have been my last text to my parents. I told them I loved them both. My last words to my family members, every single one of them I could think of. Drove home. We talked about how we were going to break the news to our 12-year-old son. She's dead, and I didn't want to believe it. Thought of a million scenarios that would have ended in him still being here. She lost her baby and she's never gonna see him again. She had so much to give to the world. He was everything you want your kid to be. And we miss him tremendously. The fact that they're gonna miss out on every aspect of life and all the happy things, that's really hard. Part of me feels guilty, part of me feels thankful, part of me feels like it's still unreal. The smell will never leave my my mouth, my like my nose, it's just it's so distinct. I flinch every time I hear a loud noise. That's the biggest part that people don't get, is that we have to relive it. I'm terrified now. Anger is really the main emotion I have right now. The people here in Parkland are still dealing with this. I can't remember if the last time I saw my daughter if I said I love you. It will haunt me forever. We are here to be remembered as parents not to remember our sons or daughters. People are left with so many pieces to try to pick up and put together somehow after just an unimaginable tragedy. I don't think I'll ever be able to move on. I don't think I'll ever be able to forget what I, what I saw in that classroom. I had no idea what to say the whole time. So I'm just going to tell my story.